Thomas and Friends Win Rally Sodor, Episode 27, Life on Sodor. One day, Ryan was shunting some trucks in the yard when he saw the top of hat. Oh, hey Ryan, I want you to take a very big train with Thomas. Oh, yes sir. But sir, who will help me? Stanley shall work with you. Hey, Rosie, I'm ready to work. Okay, let's get to work, Stanley. Right behind you, Rosie. Now you better go find Thomas. Oh, okay. Soon Ryan found Thomas with his train. Oh, hi, Ryan. You ready to go? Yes. Where do we go first? Our first stop is the transfer station. Oh, where is that? It's on the Scarlet Railway. I'll let you go in the middle to help me pull. Okay, Thomas. Okay, let's go. Soon, Thomas and Ryan made it into the transfer station where they saw Scully. Oh, hello, said Scully. Who are you? I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ryan. I'm guessing you two are here for the dynamite delivery? Yes, we are. Soon, Rusty came in. Hey, Scarloe. Yes, Rusty, what is it? Is it okay if I tag along with you on your job? Okay, couple up. Then, Rusty coupled up to the back of Scarloe's truck. Are you ready to go, Rusty? It's not that far from here. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. <laughs> As they were heading to Daisy Halt, Rusty gave Scarloe a big bump. What was that for, said Scarloe. Then Rusty's driver spoke up. It's like Joe Biden, I messed up and I clicked the wrong button. Oh, okay, let's just get to Daisy Halt. We're almost there, Rusty. Soon they arrived at Daisy Halt. Yes, that's it, Rusty. Let's get back to Thomas and Ryan. They got the dynamite and were making their way back to the transfer station. Soon they arrived at the transfer station. Thanks for letting me tag along, Scarlet. No problem, Rusty. Let's give them the dynamite. All right, here's the dynamite, said Scully. Thanks, said Thomas. Soon, the dynamite was loaded into the into their car. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you, Scully. See you two around. <coughs> Bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. <coughs> that night, Thomas and Ryan were making their way to Vicar Sound Yard. But as Thomas and Ryan were going along, Ryan started hearing a noise. Thomas, I feel like someone is following us. What do you mean? Nothing could be following us. Then Thomas heard a noise. Okay, let's just get to Vickers Town Yard and finish the job. Agreed. Let's go. Soon, Thomas and Ryan made it to Vickerstown Yard, where they saw Billy. Oh, hey, Billy, said Thomas. Where do you want us to put this train? Well, you can put it on the siding that I'm on. I'll move out of the way for you guys. Oh, okay. Thanks, said Thomas. We'll put it on this track. Thomas and Ryan uncoupled from the train and went to go turn around on the turntable. 
But as Thomas went by, Thomas's wheel suddenly stopped. Thomas had stopped. Whoa. What what happened? What what's going on? It appears that your wheel is broken, said his driver. You're not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh no. Don't worry, said Billy. I'll go get Harvey. Thanks, Billy. A couple minutes later, Billy arrived with Harvey to help Thomas. Are you okay, Thomas? Yes, Harvey. I'm somewhat okay. My back wheel is broken. I don't think I can move. Alright. Billy, can you shunt him a little bit farther down? Sure. Sure thing, Harvey. And Billy pushed Thomas down the track a little. Okay, now I'm going to go run around and switch and go in front of you, Thomas, okay? Okay, Harvey. Soon, Harvey returned. Alright, so Tom Hat wants to see you before I take you to crew, okay? <sighs> okay, said Thomas, and they both went away. Bye, Thomas, said Billy. Soon, Harvey brought Thomas to a siding right off the main line. Oh, hello, sir, said Thomas. Ah, oh, Thomas, I see your wheel is cracked. Yes, it has. Oh, well, I'm sending you the crew to be overhauled. Remember how Henry got overhauled? Oh, yeah, after that flying kipper accident. Uh, well, thank you for overhauling me, sir. Don't thank me yet. You have to get overhauled. Now? All right. I'll see you tomorrow, sir. All right, Harvey, see you tomorrow, and I'll see you soon, Thomas. Bye, sir. <laughs> One week later, so Tom Hat came rushing towards the engines. <laughs> Guys! Yes, sir, what is it, said Edward? Oh, we were sleeping, said Toby. Never mind that. Thomas is coming back. Really? He's coming back now? Yes, he should be approaching the shed soon. I think I can see him, said Percy. See, you to to yeah. Thomas, said all the engines, you're finally back. Yes, I'm back. Do you guys like my rebuild? Yes, we like it, said Percy. It's really good, I guess, said Gordon. Yeah. Sir Topham Hat, do you have any jobs for me? Well, you can go shunt in the yard. Your branch line is under construction. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go shunt in the yard. You don't want to break, said Percy? No, I have all these wonderful new parts that I want to test out. Okay, well, you can go shunt in Knapford Yard. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye, Thomas. Well, I'll see you engines later. Bye, sir. As the day went on, Thomas kept fetching different trains for different engines. Later that day, Thomas came into Natford Yard and he saw Ryan. Oh, hi, Ryan. Are you okay? But Ryan didn't answer. He was still thinking about what had happened when he and Thomas took that train to Vickerstown all those weeks ago. Then Hero puffed in to collect his good train. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Hero. But Ryan still didn't answer. Ryan, are you okay? Um, yes, Hero. I'm okay. I was just thinking. About what? Well, I heard something last night. What did you hear last night? I don't know. It sounded like a diesel. Well, it's probably nothing. Probably me just hearing things. Well, you weren't exactly hearing things, Ryan. I heard it too. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Then Hero puffed away with his good train. Ryan thought it was better to go get some rest, so he went off back to get some rest. That night, Ryan was making made his way back home to find that Stanley and Rosie were still talking. Can you two please be quiet? I need some sleep. But Stanley and Rosie kept on talking. 
until can you two please keep it down some of us need some rest after that stanley and rosie went quiet thanks molly no problem ryan now let's all get some rest that night thomas made his way back to the new sheds It feels great to be home. I bet it does, said Toby. Then Sir Tom Hack came into the sheds. Guys. Yes, sir? I have a surpri surprise for you all. Y yes, sir, what is it? Here he comes. James, said all the engines. You're finally back. I know. It's been too long since I've been on Sodor. I bet it must have, it must feel great to be back, said Edward. Yes, it is. I'm ready to go to work. Well, it's nighttime now, said Sir Tom Hat. You better get some rest. I'll see you all in the morning. Bye, sir. It's great to be back on Sodor. Any of you guys miss me? Well, yeah, I guess, said Toby. Yes, we really did, said Percy. Speak for yourself, said Gordon. Gordon, said Edward. Ah, it feels great to be back as a team, said Thomas. The whole steam team is back together. Yup, can't wait. Ah, let's all get some rest for tomorrow. Okay, and they all went to sleep.